Okay, fuckers and fuckettes. It's another night in the shop. It's a balmy 41 degrees in here because I just opened the door, so it's colder out there. And uh, we're awaiting a special guest. Work on a strut. We've got the old plum that's parked out. I'll let's see when he comes in. We hear a rumbling, a stumbling, the roar of an inline six. Who is that? Is that what I, yeah, there he is. The old I six, my little brother. We got a little bit of a project. Having some issues. Here he is. Look at that, an OBS. 95, single cab, long bed, two-wheel drive. Fuck yeah. Joe? Uh, I need some air in this tire. Meet so. Channel. Channel, it's Joe, it's my little brother. <laughs> We're firmly uh, a uh, inline six clan right now. That's all the rage here at Midwest Moose Shop. So this is the mighty uh, 300 i6, and uh, we ended up scoring this truck for $300. So what? Okay, I, with your Facebook post, or you saw it on Facebook, and they wanted what a thousand dollars for it? They wanted a thousand dollars for it. Yes. And um, <laughs> it's. I saw that it was on there for a long time. I kept an eye on the post. Uh huh. And uh, so we drove down there. We. Uh, Took a look at it. everything. Looked really mechanically sound. The, I mean, everything just looked fine. Um, so I offered him three hundred dollars cash. Showed him the cash, and uh, if it didn't start, we give you know workout storage. We put a new battery in, it and she started right up, and we drove home. How long was it? Was it like eighty miles, sixty it was miles? Fifty like? miles. Fifty ride. mile ride home. Guy said it didn't start. And we put a battery in. Yeah, he said it was sitting for a year. Put a battery in, fucker cranked over, and drove home. So, three hundred dollar truck, people. <laughs> the deals are out there. He's got to look for them. One of the issues we had to address is that he got pulled over recently for having a busted taillight. So, I have a little storage of the OBS tricks I've had over the years, and we're getting these new one ninety four bolts. So, is that one put in? Yep. Okay, let me try and pry this off. Probably was. Was there an adapter on there? Or yeah. These are actually dot dash bulbs, but they'll be fine. Try that. I don't know if there's. <clears throat> what is doing here? Just a simple uh, twist lock. All right. New bulbs though. Uh, Fucking underneath of this truck is gorgeous. Yeah, Rust wise. It was a, it was a Flo truck. Florida truck, right? Yeah. So, alright. Hit that some bitch. See what we get. Well, we got one. One's all enough. One is legal. Let's see. Hell, we got both. Oh, that one just kicked on. What? It's weird. Oh, look at that. Jesus. She's yeah, sexual, yeah. man. Now you do a full LED swap with the diodes and relays and all that bullshit. Fuck yeah. Also, he had a dead blower, so it was in the winter or in the summer, it was hotter than hell. So we gotta put a new blower motor in. And the reason why the previous owner got rid of this truck is he's like, it won't, wait, just after I drive it for about half an hour, it won't start up again. So I pulled the code and then you replaced my temperature sensor. So basically. $5 part or $10, $10 part. She's good as new. So all it was was it was the, the computer was not allowing the truck to start because it was reading a temperature. Overheat, right? Yeah, it was An saying overheat. it was like overheat, yeah, like. Faulty sensor. So that's another one to look out for. So we're on a quick supply run. Might as well take the uh, 
the old 95. Now that we're legal. Hi shop. Fucking rides like a Cadillac. Not better than the old Fummins, that's for sure. I bet you these new fucking shocks. We're at the uh, Castello de la Mousse. You know, if I, uh, I just wanted to own a, uh, butchery just so I can call it moose meat. <laughs> moose meat. <laughs> moose juice, dude. Yeah, the, uh, the beauty of driving, like, project trucks and older trucks is, you know, you just never know if you'll break down. <laughs> like, you can jump in our, uh, newer car or his, his newer car and, you just go when you get there. But with a, like an older vehicle like this, there's always that element of excitement. Or danger. <laughs> danger, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boys, we got the tools now. Get some work done. We got meat. We got shop supervisor supervising. We got chooching, chooching. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll never know. I'm just saying, it's Amsterdam's finest tap water. Ooh, Ooh that's filthy. Whoa. You can just, I'm dizzy looking at it. Tap water, of course. And this only the, the only highest <laughs> grade orange juice for this water. Pressed from the... Uh, the Appalachian Mountains. This is known as a uh, as moose juice. That's what we call it. Moose. <laughs> How's the taste? Is it cold or is it is it getting you? Needs more tap juice, tap water. More tap water. Obligatory um, off-brand. Um, Warthog's School of Wizardry. Ugh, oh, it's yeah. way too strong. The tap water. <laughs> tap. It's good. Is it? Mm. Ooh. That's moose juice, folks.